All right, today's video is going to be on how to do the Belgian ring sport escort or transport in police work. They escort a suspect. So in Belgian ring sport, only done in Belgium, okay? So it's one of the major sports in the world but done primarily in their country, okay? So you don't see it being played all over the world. It's a protection sport. So a subscriber of mine asked me, if you were to teach this to your dog and do it on your own, how would you do the exercise? So in Belgian ring sport when they do the transport or escort they take the suspect the decoy and they move him and walk him as if it was police work that they were transporting a suspect as they walk him the dog has to stay right in front of the decoy or suspect and walk backwards as the suspect moves forward okay so the nose is staying dead on watching and the dog just walks backwards perfectly straight for the most part and waits until the decoy moves backwards and then is allowed to bite. Okay, so I showed this in one of my previous videos of me teaching the Belgian Malinois Khaleesi how to do this exercise, but it, we did not do it for the exercise of Belgian ring sport. We were just doing it to give her exercises how to move herself and stay steady no matter what positions we would put her in. So it just happened to be it's the same exercise that you would teach or I would teach to my own dog if I was gonna practice this and teach my dog at home by myself without a decoy involved. All right, so how we teach this, it's not that difficult if your dog understands the rules to playing with the ball and not bite it <laughs> when you're trying to do an exercise and grab on trying to catch it. So because we want the dog facing and walking backwards, in a straight line, we hold the ball at our stomach so that we can keep the nose and the body on a straight line staring at the ball and then we just start walking forward okay and the dog will start pretty much straight head on with the ball okay, and this is here Khaleesi that I taught her and her owner, I was teaching them how to do the exercise of making her walk backwards exactly the way they do in Belgian ring sport in the protection exercise of transporting the suspect or decoy. Okay, so basically that's really, we're just keeping here to maintain that perfect body position. Okay, so now in Belgian ring, you're going to see here that when we go to reward Khaleesi and he, the owner goes and takes her, he throws the ball between his legs backwards away.
okay? And you could also do it to the side, but the problem with that is the dog will start hunting or knowing that you do a right hand or a left hand, that you're more dominant with that one. So the dog will start to veer itself out if you do that. So if it's right hand, the dog will start putting itself over here and walking sideways, right? Knowing that this hand is going to get thrown. So we get a crooked walk then. So here, what I told the owner to do was just chuck it between his legs and throw it backwards. Okay, so this way we get a straight on and the dog would choose whether to go through the legs. Here, Khaleesi, sometimes she would go through the legs and sometimes she would go out to the side of the body. Either one is fine. Okay, so, and you can see she's very straight on her walk. She's always straight lined perfectly. And that's because we made sure that we were perfect alignment with that ball as we move to keep her straight. Okay, and the throw between is making her now stay straight, knowing it's going to be a straight line down and back. All right, so perfect, steady. She's perfect, perfect on that straight line. It's exactly what we want. Now, why are we throwing it to the back of us, right, through our legs and behind for her to go get the ball? And that is because in Belgian ring sport, the exercise is the decoy, he's got a suit on, but in practice they'll use the arm instead. So they start going forward and the game is when the dog walks backward and follows, the bite is going to come when the decoy moves backwards. Okay, so it's transport, 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 all of a sudden the decoy does this, and that's the time that the dog knows that that backward movement is the bite moment. Okay, so from straight walking, to all of a sudden, boom, backwards. That's what the dog is waiting for the whole time. So the dog stays very tight and walks with the decoys knowing that the bite is going to come this way and not anywhere else. So the dog will walk pretty close, just waiting for that back step and the quick bite. Okay, so that's the indicator. So when we were using the ball, right, we would just throw it between our legs and let her go get it, keeping that anticipation when we walk and she stays forward that she knows the ball is going to go back that way, not towards her or the other direction or out to the sides. Okay, so again, keeping her straight and keeping her close and tight and just focused on the ball to when the ball is going to be thrown backwards. Right, so keeping the dog tight, right, the dog knowing that the ball will never go out to the sides or be thrown behind it. So they stay very tight, just focused on waiting for that backward or when it's the ball, the movement, the stopping, and throwing, okay? So that keeps them tight and straight, okay? So first to teach, 
would be the ball, generally, right? Unless your dog has a really good sleeve game, right? But first would come the ball. They're good at that. And if they have a little bite development on the sleeve, then you can quickly just go over to the sleeve and now instead of throwing the ball or the sleeve away, we mimic what would happen during the sport, during the exercises, during the competition. Okay? So, now, normally the dogs, <clears throat> the decoys are going to walk with their arms down. So, because we did the ball here, what you want to do is not keep your arm down with the sleeve in the beginning and walk at the dog like this. Because until they're used to biting this, they might shift over and start to get crooked looking at the arm down here. So, as you start, keep it here, just like you had the ball in this position and walk this way, and the moment you're ready, boom, backwards bite. Okay? Once they get the hang of it, you walk with your arm down, right? Just like the decoys would do in the competition. They don't go like this and walk with a dog like this. Okay? So now the dog is so conditioned to staying in the front and waiting that now, like this, as soon as the decoy is going to go take that step back, it's boom and up, okay? So the moment that they're going to step back, because I know the dog is going to fly in there quick, that arm's got to be ready. So they walk, 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 boom, and right? So it's almost timed, the same thing, okay? And the dog comes up and bites. So you have your steps there. So to, again, keep straight, ball first, Okay, and throwing, then sleeve here and walking and back bite. And then you can keep your arm still just like in competition and do this and then the bite. So that's how I would teach it. That's how I've done it in the past. Okay, if you're by yourself, and most people don't have decoys to work with, so you can do a lot of protection exercises by yourself at home without having to have a decoy. And that is how to teach the escort or transport of a suspect or decoy for the Belgian ring sport. And again, it's a very unique sport it's a tough sport, tough dogs, and only done in Belgium. So it's, you know, you're not going to see it being played in the United States. <laughs> I think there was a few clubs up in New England at one point. I don't know if they're still around. But the general population will never know what this exercise is or what Belgian ring sport is. So. I just want to give this today because I like to do things that are unique and show people things that they've never seen before. And it's the first time I ever received that kind of question on the Belgian ring sport and how to do that exercise. Get no questions about Belgian ring sport. <laughs> so I figured I'd cover it since it's such a unique topic and a unique sport. So there you go. That's how to create the transport escort by yourself without a decoy for Belgian ring sport. So till next time, Richard Hines, Miami Dog Whisperer. Wow.
Wow. Sit. Down. Sit. Center. Front. Yes, good girl. Down. Good girl. Good girl. Perfect. Good girl. Perfect. Let's go. Down. There she come, sit. There she back, down. There she come, sit, down, down. Good girl. Yes. 